Hey guys! So thank you so much for joining me uh, for today's video. We are going to be painting uh, with acrylic on canvas. As you can see, this canvas is 8 by 10 and uh, they were sitting um, buried under some clutter in my little studio and I recently did a little um, switcheroo. Uh, I got rid of a second desk and I put in a rack and so these fellas came out and uh, a couple weeks ago I did two canvases on a random weekend and it felt really really good and um, I don't know I decided that I will allow myself this little bit of fun with uh, acrylic and uh, do two at a time whenever I decide I want to do them. So I ended up having too much of that paint uh, on one canvas so I did the background um, the same color for the second one. That wasn't the intent but um, that's what ended up happening. Um, yeah, so I may not have the best brush for this background painting situation, but I don't want to use my watercoloring brushes, even though they are technically mixed media brushes, because I don't want to ruin them with acrylic. Acrylic, um, you should just have brushes for, not a lot of brushes, you don't need a lot, you can use one or whatever you're comfortable with, but uh, you should definitely keep your, um, your brushes separate for each media, type of media. Okay, so I had for um to put down a mat because this is how excited I was. Actually, I wanted to do these paintings the night before. And um, my husband was like, no, just relax, just relax. Just, you know, let's watch some movies or whatever. And the complete opposite of relax is what ended up happening. Um, I just couldn't stop thinking about what I was going to paint. <laughs> uh but yeah, so I I got it all out in one day, which felt good. Um, I am penciling it in more for your sake than mine. I knew that I would be sharing this video. Um, of course, I set up the camera on purpose and everything. But uh, I usually don't go into so much detail uh, when I do watercolor. Um, you guys have been watching me do a lot of watercolor the past year and a half, and that's been awesome. It's a, Watercolor is actually a new medium for me. Um, acrylic and I have a past. Uh, it's been a long, long time since then. And of course I have some, uh, I have some uh, acrylics sitting around because I do use them uh, sometimes during my Take 5. Um, collaboration videos so um, you know we're not that estranged but it had been some time since I did it on canvas um, and more of an involved painting anyways I'm doing these pencil markings a lot of this is not going to show up of course because um, you know acrylic is opaque you can't see through it uh, unlike watercolor so I'll lose some of the detail but uh, I'm laying out that road map for myself. And uh, and here are my colors. I'm going with three colors, and then I'll be mixing and creating a little palette out of that. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know what this is called, uh, color blocking maybe? Yeah, just laying down that uh, first layer for my flowers. I am embracing my love of flowers. It all began with watercolor, and now it's spilling over into these canvases. Um, it's cool, I guess. It's uh, it's nice and easy. You know, there's no exact science to how a flower is supposed to look like. Um, you know, as, as long as you can trick the eye and uh, use pretty colors, that's the intent. Uh, that's been what's been happening with watercolor and. Um, you know, like I said, uh, I actually, I have tried, <laughs> I tried once putting, uh, watercolor on canvas. It took forever, and I'm looking at the little painting right now. Um, it's not great, so, <laughs> so I definitely needed, I, I do intend, 
eventually to try some of my gouache uh, on canvas. Just just to check it out. I don't do much gouache at all. I have a set, but I, I don't usually. Have I ever used it? I think I might have tried a color or two. Um, anywho, uh, here come the leaves. And, uh, yeah, so this is all just, um, this is one more way for me to express some creativity to get out of my head. Um, I think I had mentioned in the previous video, I can't remember which, or maybe during a podcast, that um, watercolor was starting to feel like work. Um, it started out as a, you know, something that I wanted to learn um, to get better at during a 100-day project, and then I got better at it, <laughs> and then, um, you know, from many of my watercolors, uh, I've been able to uh, recycle that artwork into stickers and even um, planner kits and so um, at some point uh, you know I, I felt like it started feeling like I, I had to make um, sellable watercolor so it stopped being kind of fun fun for me it was more of a chore so to speak or I don't know, like maybe a little performance anxiety, like, oh, what if, you know, whatever I try today uh, doesn't end up working, and then I, you know, I wasted this time, uh, and that's such a silly feeling, and I know how silly it is, but I can't help it, that's just the way it felt, um, so I took, uh, I took a little moment to play around again, get re-inspired, I did some, you know, just for me, paintings that I didn't sh I haven't shared um, you guys will probably end up seeing them in a video when I flip through the entire journal at the end of the year um, but for right now it was just me trying to get back into it and then of course these canvases you know came at the perfect time because I was looking for something different to do and actually in the um, colder months here in New York <laughs> I have this yearly tradition of uh, of crocheting uh, during the cold months and but that's starting another project and also that would be a project one of those um, for me projects that would not be something that I would try to sell or add to my shop at all I think my my shop is pretty <laughs> pretty well stocked <laughs> um, between the uh, the stickers, the vinyls, the kits, and, and everything else uh, possibly coming. Hint, hint. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, so we are adding uh, more layers of colors. Um, I don't know if this is uh, something that I'm carrying over from watercolor. Probably is. I've gotten so used to layering um, that I'm doing it with acrylic as well, and you guys, if you watch me do watercolor, I say this all the time. I am lazy. I don't love mixing. I usually just go in with whatever color and then layer it. Um, you guys are watching me do all the other kinds of things. Um, look at me with my little new palette. Actually, this is a bigger palette because the ones I had were kind of small um, and obnoxious. Perfect for watercolor. Not so great for acrylic. Um... So yeah, I'm mixing, I am layering, and I'm doing all the things, and I I do love uh, how this ends up coming out. Um, these uh, canvases, if you've watched the previous video and this one, all of these um, florals are available in my shop um, as either the original canvas or prints, and I have prints in three different sizes. And they're cool, you know, you can put them in your planner, or hang them on the wall, use them as uh, postcards. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining me <laughs> today's floral painting. And uh, I'll talk to you guys real soon. I'm just going to let you finish watching me uh, paint these and then... 
I'm going to pull out the Posca pen, which I've, you know what, maybe I'm not going to say goodbye. Maybe I'll sit through, <laughs> I'll talk through the uh, Posca marker experience because if you've watched any of my other videos where I use those markers I try I, I've tried I've tried I've tried so much with mixed media um, in my collab notebook and it just never works out and it just they never work right for me I have the black the white and the gold and I've made huge messes and almost ruined you know projects that are almost finished and for whatever reason <laughs> they've decided to work on canvas <laughs> with the acrylics and it's been a um well it's been a pleasure working with <laughs> with them because I finally am using them and uh they're working out and I'm talking about them so early on but um that part of this video is like really short it's fairly quick uh because this entire thing would have taken about an hour and a half. This whole painting took about an hour and a half. And that was with me stopping for little breaks. And also, um, I did use the heat tool uh, to finish drying off um, each layer. Because uh, I cannot sit and watch paint dry. The other canvas is drying naturally. So by the time I get to that one... Um, that had dried naturally and it's funny because uh, you can tell the difference uh, between the one that dried naturally and the one that didn't. <laughs> um, same color mixture, turned out different colors. Um, so that's, if you were wondering about that, that's probably because, you know, the heat tool bakes the uh, plastic element of of this acrylic or maybe I'm putting it too close which I have been known to do. I have burned paper <laughs> in my journal um, by putting the heat tool too close. Um, I struggled a little bit with these leaves. I really wanted them to be... I wanted it to be clear that they there was a, a shadow side and a not shadow side, um, but somehow my greens got mixed up somewhere along the way. I had also tried to do like this in-between thing in purple and then ended up not liking it and switching over to green but of course I had the purple base so took a couple of layers um, and waiting it out just to get it the way I wanted um, or as closely as what I wished I had done from the beginning uh, either way I really do like how it came out um, I do like what I'm doing with these florals. It's an unexpected, um, I don't know, creative burst. But, you know, I've been here before where suddenly I just feel like I want to do something and I start doing it and then, you know, it kind of takes over. That's how we got to watercolor. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's how we got into journaling and all the things. Um, so yeah, so just some more finishing touches. Uh, I just wanted to make like little bushy details around the leaves and around the kind of those grass leaves, um, blades, blades of grass. I don't know. Uh, just to make it look a little more organic. Like it wasn't just so, so edgy. I can't believe I've been talking for 14 minutes. That's insane. <laughs> if you're still here, thank you. <laughs> um, I've been a little bit lazy as of late. Whenever I put up uh, a painting type video, kind of set it to music and give you the option of just listening to your own music or just watching it um, for the sake of watching it, you know, as something soothing in the background. Um, but uh, I I know I've gotten a lot of messages asking for more specifics or thought process or just you get miss my voice. <laughs> so um, today I had a little extra time. The house is uh, as quiet as one would expect with kids who have been quarantined all this time. But um, I'm able to 
do this voiceover for this painting and I'm very happy to do so because uh, one day somebody will own this art whether it's prints or the original and it'll just be nice that they can sit here and watch um, how it was made and listen to me ramble on and on and on about <laughs> all the different things I do um, so yeah I hope you I hope you like this <laughs> alrighty guys thank you so much for keeping me company during this voiceover thank you so much for watching and I hope my art brings you a little joy today um, I will see you guys real soon bye Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and press that bell so you don't miss a thing. Bye, guys.